Zuk Zambat. Dolbolum Bor Zikli. Hey crew, welcome back to Hobby Time. Sorry for the absence. I know it has been a couple of weeks since a video has released. Life gets in the way sometimes. Um, but today we have a one day build for you. We have Sauron's crown from season two of the Rings of Power. Now, you may or may not have seen, I have done Sauron's helm and also the Witch King's helm, uh, both Nico Industries files as this is an Eco Industries file. Now, this was a very quick build. The only thing I changed on this one was I split the file across here to make it easier to print. So I've done it in three separate prints. I think all up it was about a seven hour print, maybe, maybe a little bit less. Um, however, my scaling, a little bit off, doesn't fit my buff head. However, it just means that I'm not the Dark Lord, I guess. But um, yeah, guys, stick with us on this one. Nice, easy, fun build for you. Um, this would be a perfect build for you to uh, get into the sort of painting and weathering and stuff like that, as this took about, you know, probably half an hour to an hour to do. So stick with us, let's get this made. Well, crew, here we are again, another one to build. Nice and easy. As I said in the initial video, I split this in half to make it easier and faster to print. Um, it took no time at all. This was super, super simple. Glued it together um, and then obviously glued the spikes on or horns on, whatever you want to call those, a part of the crown. That's pretty much it for the assembly. This thing doesn't get much easier. Just a little bit of filler here. I used the spot putty this time. It's a little bit easier to sand in tight places and things like that. Quick paint there that was just some primer obviously don't need to see that and then a quick hit here with the sander just to knock down those lines where I've joined it up where I've joined the crown we've also got here this is our hammered metal finish I find that this is great for weathered old props then we've just got a bit of joining here unfortunately I've got a little bit of cracking after I had painted it um, so I'm just doing a bit of plastic welding to strengthen that up to make this a better display piece obviously you don't want it to sit around and then fall off a shelf or move and then crack in half that is the only disadvantage of printing it in two pieces like I've done uh, now I'm just making a black wash here just using some black acrylic paint and then uh, some water mixing that up and just a sponge there to apply it just in the little divots cracks and creases just get some extra grime on there and a quick wipe off with some paper towel that's pretty much all there was to the finishing on this crown it like i said it was super easy and there wasn't much to it i love the the rust the sorry the the dirty black worn metal effect that uh, the paint and wash combo gives takes no time to make a simple part you know just adds a little bit extra depth to it as you can see final product very very happy for what we've done here anyway guys that was sauron's crown from the rings of power season two coming out soon i think so if you watch it you watch it if you don't you don't um but yeah that was a nice easy fun one for everybody uh, it was real simple to do there was no hard parts or anything like that as i said before and in the video i sliced it one extra spot to save on supports and things like that but um yeah a little bit of fun there um but we do have a couple more builds for you that are all done i've trying to get a few out so i don't take so long uh in between uh, in between videos but uh yeah let me know if you like that one or you can always watch one of the other builds i'll put it somewhere around here i don't know where youtube puts it they are the two other build videos i've done for the lord of the rings props now if you want to see more lord of the rings props let me know as well as always guys thank you very much for watching and we will catch you on the next video Thank you.